me get in here. Let me settle. Settle in here. So, if you saw for my title, then you know what we're here to talk about. Um, I've been avoiding talking about this subject just because I feel like I have different opinions on this topic than most do. Um, which is fine. It's fine on different opinions, yeah. I've got a Red Bull. I've got some... Oh, shit. Don't spill water on your books, y'all. And not on your planner, either. Um, I don't have any notes or, like, or anything written down. So I'll probably forget some things that I want to say. And I'll probably say some things that I didn't intend on saying. But... I want to talk about what happened I guess some months ago now um, about about um, racism on booktube you know it's hard to sometimes talk about this because one the short version is of do I think booktube is racist my short answer to that is no no I don't think that booktube is racist um, I think that booktube is, I think that we get too tied up in booktube being this happy place where everybody gets along and things like that, that we still forget that booktube is a representation of the rest of the world. Like, the majority of the people on booktube are white, and then a minority of people on booktube are people of color, whether they be black, Asian... Uh, Latinx, but they'd be anything, they're people of color. And much like the rest of the world, people are ignorant. People are ignorant a lot of times because they don't know any better. Like they, they truly, they truly don't know any better. They, they haven't had to interact, be a part of, live as, do anything like that. And so a lot of times they, they don't they don't understand what they're saying. No, 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 no. That little girl who put that video up, she hateful. She kind of spiteful. So we ain't talking about her. We're talking about the majority of the people on BookTube. The ones who just truly don't understand and don't know. Those people are not racist. Those people are ignorant. Those people have never had to think what it's like to be an only in a room, most likely. You know, I wanted to write something, it's still in my drafts on my blog, because I wanted to write something like this after BookNet Fest. I really enjoyed BookNet Fest, okay? Um, I probably didn't get to meet or talk to as many people as I wanted to because I went down with my boyfriend, whom I love, and we spent time together um, going to the amusement parks because I already dragged him down to a book event, so I was going to let him have some fun too. But... Through it all, we know there's this women of color panel. It was fantastic. It was excellent. You know, there's white people in the audience, you know, doing that whole like, mm-hmm, yes, 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 I, I understand. I totally understand. You know, we've got to do better. We've got to do better. That's what white people love to say. We've got to do better. But they don't try to do better. And I don't know if it's because they don't know how to try to do better or if it's because they're afraid to. If they're afraid to be that person to do better. Now, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. You know, um, I have great friends. Um, I have friends of all races and colors. My best friend in the world is white. My boyfriend is white. And I'm not going to say sometimes with them aren't hard. I mean, my best friend... She's amazing, like, she's participated in more Black Lives Matters rallies than I have. And so, I love her for that. And we're not asking white people to go out there and participate in rallies. We're asking you all to do your part in supporting black people. Like, I felt out of place at BookNet Fest. Um, because one, a lot of people already have friend groups. That's cool. I don't care. You have friend groups through the internet. You're excited to see them. It's only a weekend. You know, you're so excited to see them. That's fine. I didn't have any friend groups growing in, so I didn't really have any expectations. I just wanted to meet people. But of course, I gravitate towards 
the black people. I gravitate towards the black people because starting up a conversation with black people is a lot easier than starting a conversation with white people. And it's not, and it's, and it's because white people are going to give you the basic conversation. The, hi, how are you? Yeah, I don't really know why you're talking to me right now. This is what you can see in their face. I don't really know why you're talking to me right now. Like, we're not friends. I don't really need friends, so... You know, it's fine, but I'll, I'll meet you. I'll say hi. It's okay. <laughs> and then black people, you know, like, you, you hit it off immediately. I don't, I don't, I can't explain that. I can't explain why, why that is. It just is. And it doesn't matter how kind or opening you are to non-people of color. Like, like, there's a disconnect and you can tell you you can feel it and so you feel awkward and you're like okay well why don't i just i'm just gonna leave now i'm just gonna leave now you know um so you just you just you go you go um but i don't i don't believe that white booktubers are racist i i don't be, i believe that they don't know what to do and the what I can tell you to do is to just be be involved, be engaged, like like talk to black people, talk to black booktubers, comment on their videos. I'm pr most of my comments are from black people on my videos. I love you all. I do, and I try and watch your videos and comment and stuff. But most of my comments are from black people on my videos, and it's. Like, I, I don't have, you know, a super high following and engagement um, on YouTube. I'm not going to say that I do because I don't. Um, but, of course, you can tell who's watching your videos. And it's it's discouraging why black booktubers say that they quit booktube. Um, is because it's discouraging that that a majority of the people on booktube are not engaging with you like like the majority not a majority the majority as in white female booktubers are not engaging with you no matter how much content you're producing um or anything you could be engaging in their in their comment sections or leave comments and they won't they won't respond they don't respond and they don't engage with you and so that can just be be annoying now some other topic speaking of that coming up is is that a lot of black black booktubers complain that if a person if a, if a non person of color booktuber starts a youtube channel at the same time as them they're more than likely to grow faster than their black booktuber counterpart now that is very true and i have definitely witnessed that um i've definitely witnessed that through through the YouTube sphere. Now, I'm not saying about me. Like most of the time, it's not about me because I can I can tell you that I don't post consistently. Um, I try to post consistently. I just get busy and I don't I don't make it happen. But for those who do post consistently all the time, there are plenty of Black booktubers out there who should be in the tens of thousands. But they're not. But someone who started a year after them will surpass them entirely now i can i can i could probably contribute some of that to youtube you know um youtube definitely does not promote people of color like at all unless it's makeup um but i'm also going to put some of the blame on on um non-people of color like like you you have to be willing to go and to go and watch these videos not just subscribe actually watch actually watch and engage because subscribing is one thing but it's engaging that's going to keep them moving. Like, like when you guys are doing all of your diverse reads crap, which is such crap. The fact that you have to force yourself to read a diverse book thanks to a tag or diverse reads bingo, that should tell you something about yourself. The fact that your authors of choice are not diverse in any way, shape, or form, that should tell you something about yourself that you need to reflect on and see okay why do i need to force myself to read diversely but if if you're coming on these diverse reads and you see let's just use uh the hate you give because that also caused some booktube drama um 
and you see reviews of the hate you give from a black person you see a review of the hate you give from the white person and you are going for the review of the hate you give of the white person why why are you going to the review of the hate you give of a white person instead of a black person why would you trust the credibility and source of a book that deals with emotions dealing with African Americans and their struggles and their lives from day to day basis why would you why would you want the opinions of the white person and their feelings I can understand their critical review of writing style and this that and the other but the fact that you don't also watch the black person who can give you their feelings of that book can tell you personal stories and actual life events you thought about that did you think about that nah you didn't you didn't and that is just the reason why I don't believe that booktube is racist booktube is racist booktube isn't racist it's ignorant it's ignorant and naive and shallow that is what booktube is booktube is filled with mostly teenage mostly teenage to 20 year olds I'm in the 20 year old category of people who are self-proclaimed introverts they're self-proclaimed introverts which means they aren't they aren't comfortable already in social in social situations dealing with people so why in the world would they be comfortable in social situations dealing with people who don't look like them who don't act like them and i'm not saying that's a pass on their behavior i am saying that most people on booktube aren't out to be vindictive or mean or arrogant or you know when I when I think of racism I think of someone who is trying to hurt me mentally physically or emotionally with their negative Nancy views on who people are and where they fit in the world and I don't believe a lot of booktubers fall into that category I believe there are people who don't know how to interact with others, which is why they're on booktube, which is why they're introverts, which is why they're readers. But you would think with all of the reading that all of the booktubers do, they would be a little bit more acceptive of people that don't look like them. They can read Harry Potter and want to meet wizards and not be a muggle. They can read Sarah J Maas and want to be a part of the night court, the day court, the autumn court, and be with they, but they're afraid of black people. They're afraid to talk to black people. Like, is that just not something, something ridiculous? Like, like, and so I just, I feel like most non-people of color booktubers need to actually reflect on themselves and see why they believe the things they believe and why they are the way they are. Because as book people you should be some of the most highly educated people out there even if all you read is YA fantasy because your YA fantasy is all about diversity and inclusion and things like that but yet you can't be a part of that diversity and inclusion so that is just something you you have to think about um meanwhile like I've, I've started to become more friends with you on more friends with some of you on Instagram which is fantastic. I love talking to everybody on Instagram. And, um, but the YouTube community, you all could be a lot better. Because you all are iffy at best. You know, I... So many people have put this more eloquently than I can and that I have and it's because what a lot of people are angry about I'm not necessarily angry about it and I think that's the issue I had a long conversation with my mother about this and my mother was like but India why are you surprised I was like you know I don't know why I'm surprised I don't know why I'm feeling the way that I feel like this isn't my daily life like this isn't normal like this isn't part of the world we live in like and she was like just because they're book people doesn't mean they're any different you know there's still white people who don't know anything about about black people and aren't trying to learn anything about black people I'm paraphrasing her by the way she's a lot more eloquent of a speaker than me 
And I was like, this is true. So no, your thoughts and feelings and reactions aren't going to spark a fire in me on how on how you all feel and react and respond um, to things on booktube. Now for that hateful little girl who you know took down her video and whatnot, not a, issued an apology video I guess you know I was really behind on that booktube drama so I never saw it. I just saw everybody's clips. That little girl is the epitome of <laughs> someone who is hateful. Like she is she has anger in her heart for trivial things. And she has anger in her heart for things she doesn't understand. Because just like in every TV show, in every talk a parent has ever, a black parent has ever had with their child, you being a black man or a black woman will have to work two times as hard as any white counterpart to earn the same amount of respect or the same amount of following you will have to do more you will have to be more to get farther and to not even farther to reach the same levels and so that is something that we all grow up with that all you can ask any black person they we've all grown up with it and you know I and I know that me, I, I come from a place of privilege. I'm not gonna lie, because um, privilege isn't a bad word like some people think they are. I was super lucky. My mom raised me, and um, I went to a predominantly white private school for my entire life, and then went on to a PWI for college. Like, but with that, you learn, you learn white people. So, the actions of white people never surprised me because I was so used to dealing with them and with it. And so, I was just like, so seeing people, I'm just like, yeah, that's some white people-ish. Like, that's what they do. Only thing I can do is tell you my thoughts, opinions, and feelings. Whether you change your mindset or not, that's on you. Like, I can't, I can't change that of someone. All I can tell you is that, yeah, maybe you need to broaden your mind and your world and talk to black people. Like, we're not scary. We're not scary at all. Like, we're exactly the same as you. Just a little bit darker. Unless you're me, then I'm light as hell. So, sorry. <laughs> But I don't believe that booktube is racist. I believe booktube is a lot like the rest of the world and is ignorant. They don't understand. They're not trying to understand and they're not going to understand. So they're not going to understand when you when you give when you make your videos explaining why you're angry and you're hurt and you're pissed off that someone could come on here and yell and get angry saying that we deserve something. There's not a black person on booktube. Honestly, there's very few black people in this world who've ever said that they deserve anything because we have been told from the time that we were born to work so hard to be considered equal. Equal. Does that, how does that make you feel? To be equal, not better than. Though we will work even harder to be better than you. Make no mistake. But we all, on booktube, it's such a small niche. It's such a small, small niche in the greater span of YouTube. And so yeah, we all have to work together to build this niche and to grow and to be a part of this book world, book family, whatever you want to call it. One, one video is not going to make me stop and I'm sorry that some black booktubers have felt like because they weren't seeing the growth that they were looking for, they quit booktube. I hope they start up again and I hope they continue with booktube. I think booktube needs more black booktubers. You know, it needs, it needs the people like Steph's rom-com, Steph's rom-book 
talks I don't know if I said that right I'll tag her below who talks about romance novels you need people like and Jerry on, on on Onyx Pages who talks about um who talks about Afrofuturism. You need people like Rachel from Rachel from Rachel from God Rachel Reads from um who talks who does mostly nonfiction. Like you need these different segments of Black people in your life who read different things. Like it's gonna bother me if I don't remember her name correctly. Yeah, from Rachel Ray. You need Rachel Ray. Um, who reads mostly nonfiction. You need some of these. Uh, don't worry, I'll be tagging so many more black book booktubers down below. But you need these people to help you expand your world and your thoughts and your ideas. Once again, if you're reading a book like Dear Martin, you're, you're, not, you're not looking for black people and their thoughts and opinions on a book, you you don't care if you're you know reading if you're reading binti and you're not looking for for a black person's ideas and reviews or an african person's ideas and a view and views on this book you're just willing yourself into greater ignorance of the world and it's with that that's what i can't stand I can't stand people who will themselves into even more ignorance than where they are. And so you have to do better. You have to want to do better. You have to be better, you know. But no, most people's actions don't surprise me. Granted, I'm a paramedic. Um, you know, it might not be a nurse or a doctor, but it means I'm in the streets with people in their natural environment, in their homes, on the streets or you know, in offices, in places, and people will never cease to amaze you. So if you ever get a chance to do a ride along in a busy county or a busy city, do it. Like, especially if blood and stuff don't bother you. Because you will learn people cease to surprise you. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say cease because, whoo, I've had some things definitely surprise me. But people's thoughts, opinions, and emotions, like you get used to it and I think that's another reason why all of this really hasn't just like sparked a hate fire in me but I wanted to say something I wanted to put out my opinion um I, I'm not going to ease any of your guilt if you are feeling white guilt right now because honestly most of you probably should be you know you claim to have that black friend in your life um, but what does that mean to you? What, is, what does having a black friend in your life mean to you? Does that mean when someone says something to them sideways, are you going to stick up for them? Or are you going to let them fight their own battles by themselves? Like, but the best that you can do on this booktube community is to not only subscribe to black booktubers, but to also watch their content. Like, watch their book reviews, understand their feelings and thoughts, and just talk to us. Like, we want to talk and we will talk and we'll talk back and it'll be fun it'll be so much fun <laughs> but no I cannot say because I didn't watch the original video this is really just me just word vomiting my thoughts word vomit Blah. my thoughts but no I don't believe booktube is racist I believe that booktube is ignorant and just like the rest of the world is or a large portion of the world is, especially in America. Um, and these feelings don't surprise me. So it is what it is to me. I'm going to keep making videos because they make me happy. I'm going to keep reading books because that makes me happier. But I refuse to let you all come in and steal my joy. That is what I refuse to do. You all will not steal my joy for booktube, for reading, for making videos, for doing what I enjoy. You're not going to steal my joy for that. And so, I'm going to keep doing what I do. Whether it be consistent or not consistent, we'll see. I'm trying to be more consistent, but I think I say that once a month. And I hope that I conveyed something to someone out there to talk to black people, to watch more black booktube, to be a part of 
the community be further a part of the community because that's the only way you're you are going to grow because remember like Black people have always been shoved into the white people world. White people have never been shoved into the black people world. So we are used to coming over here. We are used to being over there. We're used to pushing ourselves to be over there to talk to you all. A lot of you all are not used to pushing yourselves this way and pushing yourselves into a situation that's uncomfortable for you. You don't walk into a room and immediately count how many white people are in the room. Trust me, most black people walk into a room and immediately count how many black people in a, are in a room. Like, because another black person is always going to be your safety net. They will be. So. But, now that I've rambled on and on and I don't think I've said anything useful at all. But I wanted to respond. I wanted to talk about it. I want to talk about it with you all. I will link some other people's responses videos who did a fantastic job explaining their feelings and their thoughts and emotions. Well, these are my thoughts and emotions. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Just do better. Try at least. Try at least to do better. You know, I can't. I can't force you at all. I can just lead you. You know, like the saying goes, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So, be better. And yes, your diverse reads bingo is the biggest load of shit ever. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to click off the boxes. But if it's the only reason you're reading diverse books is because of the bingo, you need to check that out. You need to check that out inside. But that's it for me. I'm sorry, this is probably like the only discussion video I think, or rant, that I think I've done on my channel. I've tried to avoid doing one because I don't like being in the drama. This is why I'm always late to the drama. I don't like being in it. Um, so yeah. But until next time y'all. Keep turning the pages. <laughs>